In an IT department on a Dell made in Texas, I met up with a sorter I didn't think I knew. I said my name selection. He said, you can call me quick sort. And since we're sharing cycles, won't you tell me what you do? I said I put my cards in order by running through my data and pulling out the smallest card from the ones here in my fist. And after I remove it, I start the process over. And after n times through the pile, I've got a sorted list. So he looked at me with pity and said, son, that ain't too pretty. With n times through a list of n, your time is quadratic. And his voice fell to a whisper, and the disc fan stopped its whining. Said, if you're gonna sort a list, boy, you got to learn to sort it quick. You got to know when to swap them. Know when to stop them, know when to terminate, and know when to run. Whether it's strings or numbers, if it's in place or it's stable, keep your time for doing sorting to a minimum. It's the one I call the pivot Split up the rest of them Depending on their size The big ones on the right I put on a stack for later And if the left pile isn't sorted The process I reprise Each time I deal a card out It joins a group that's smaller quite often half the size so I said yes but then with all those random pivots you're gonna need to be quite lucky he said you might call it gambling but to me it's n log n you got to know when to swap them when to swap them know when to stop them when to stop them know when to terminate and know when to run whether it's strings or numbers If it's in place or it's stable Keep your time for doing sorting To a minimum You got to know when to swap them Know when to stop them Know when to terminate And know when to run Whether it's strings or numbers if it's in place or it's stable, keep your time for doing sorting to a minimum.